Vines community visits look a little different these days. How did you connect to the fans today? Yeah, so community day today, um, the boys have broken up into two groups, a um, few hours each. We've been zooming into a couple of uh, schools, uh, particularly in the southeast uh, regions of Victoria, which the footy club's closely linked to. So, you know, Casey, Cranburn, Berwick, um, these kinds of areas, uh, just reaching out to schools, um, also uh, ringing around to a lot of Oz uh, volunteers and um, team managers of, of local Oz kick centres um, across the southeast area as well. It's probably been a while since you've really been able to chat to fans. Is it nice to soak up some of their excitement? Yeah, absolutely. It was it was good to um, you know ring around and um, hear how much everyone's still um, kind of riding the wave of, of last season and and looking forward to you know kicking the season off on Wednesday night against uh, against the doggies. Everyone's pretty pumped. It's been a four day break since the game. Has the body pulled up all right? It was your first hit out for the year. Yeah, no, nah, body pulled up you know pretty well. Uh, it was a bit, bit sore um, being the first hit out, but uh, having four days to rest and recover, and um, you know we've still got over a week before um, round one, so uh, plenty of time to you know train hard and get uh, get physically um, you know ready for for a big 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 campaign. We are back at the MCG. The goalposts are just gone in. Does it get you pretty excited knowing that the fans are going to pack out this stadium in a week's time? Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's it is really exciting. Um, you know, speaking to a couple of members and supporters saying that they're taking the day off Wednesday to um, you know really um, you know bask amongst the uh, the round one atmosphere so uh, you know looking forward to you know hopefully putting on a show and um, putting some smiles on the faces of some D's fans.